Hi, I'm Marcos from crosstech.de and I'd like to introduce you to Breezing Forms uh, tagging feature which is available since Breezing Forms 8183 uh, and it integrates with uh, Joomla's tagging engine which is available since Joomla 3.1 and I'll show you how you can actually uh, uh, tag your forms as well as uh, tag uh, the content uh, from your form submissions and how to display them uh, using the tagging feature. Um, before I'm doing so, um, I will first show you how the uh, tagging uh, feature in Joomla works in general, just in case you don't know it already. And um, there is a little side note, this is really for displaying uh, content. If you need to uh, to have ad uh, addition capabilities, then you can use our uh, extension content builder that integrates with Breezing Forms as well and it also creates articles and everything so if you're looking for uh, for article creation and edition uh, with Breezing Forms then uh, go uh, please go for Content Builder. So uh, let's check out how the um, tagging in Joomla works in general. Um, if you go to the components menu and um, entering uh, the text extension uh, you are able to create a uh, new um, text here. Uh, for example, here our, our, um, um, yeah, our uh, demonstration, we will just uh, use uh, one tag, that would be our block entries. I uh, won't use any description here, um, the tag is enough. And um, then I would like to create an article that is uh, supposed to be tagged with uh, with uh, the block entries tag. So let's call this this is a blog post, no special category, and blah blah blah. And then we will tag this article with the tag block entries. Oh, same alias. Okay, this is a block posting then. That should work. So um, what I would like to, uh, to do now is to display um, to display uh, this uh, article um, in a uh, uh, in a tag uh, tag items list. In order to do that, we need to create. Um, We need to create a menu item, and here it would be the tagged items list, which displays anything, uh, uh, any content item, will it be uh, an article or a category or a contact or a form. Um, so I'm going to choose the, the right tag now, which would be uh, Blog entries, and I want to see uh, articles there. So the title would be blog entries. So now you see that we have our blog posting here, and we could also see uh, the, the details of this blog posting, which is uh, the article. And um, now I would like to see. Uh, one of uh, one of the breathing forms forms here in that uh, in that same list. Um, so I'm gonna install breathing forms now. We need uh, two things at least. That would be uh, the component itself. And very important for tagging would be the breathing forms main plugin, which is called PLG breathing forms. And that plugin needs to be enabled. Then, after a little setup of prison forms, I want to create a new quick mode based form. And I'm going to call it block entry. Title field, and I also want to have a post field where the 
body text uh, body text is supposed to be and then I'd like to have um, a file upload for an image and that file upload should be an HTML5 or alternatively flash upload and I'd like to have a thank you page thank you for your posting Thank you page. Then I'm going to check how the form is working. Uploading a picture. Apparently it works. So now I'm going to tag this form so it will appear in our list. And now we have um, the text and content tab. And here just choose our tag block entries. And I would expect to uh, this uh, form to show up here, but it doesn't. That is because we first need to tell the menu item to use the right content provider, which would be breathing forms. And then you see we have our form here, and um, well, I could already uh, enter some uh, some data here, but it wouldn't be displayed here. Um, this is just for the form. Uh, if you want to uh, display the submitted content here, you need to go to more options again, text and content tab, and actually tag the form content. Um, what you then should do is choose uh, a title element, so the right uh, the right title is displayed here and everything. And here you could set up your own uh, HTML-based layout. Um, pick uh, some elements here. If you keep it empty, it will use a, um, a fallback layout. Um, for now, I keep it empty, and uh, then you have some content defaults. Uh, for example, the default category, the default status, the access language feature, the start uh, and end publishing dates, and so on. And so now I'm ready to create a blog post. This is a reason forms blog post. Submitting another image. And there you see the blog post. Uh, well, it doesn't look really nice here because of the file upload, but I'm going to show you how you can solve this. Um, um, you are able with uh, with a little uh, plugin call uh, the chips of Prising Forms to display um, an image or a download, uh, whatever you like. Um, you see here that the order uh, doesn't seem uh, doesn't seem right. This is because the default order and the menu item. Uh, is by the title. You can easily change that. If you go to the menu item, advanced options, the order, here we choose probably the created date and um, a different direction. So then it makes uh, more sense. So um, yeah, now I'm going to show you how you, get, how you can get rid of this. Um, for this, uh, we need to install um, another plugin, um, which would be the image scale plugin. Needs to be uh, enabled too. And now I'm going to create a um, content template where I actually call uh, this plugin. You're going to add the title and uh, the post itself. Very simple like this. And now I want to display. Oh, wait, here's a, too much of a gap. Um, call the uh, image scale plugin. You need to address the fields. That would be the um, the name of the field. 
then um, the, uh, the width of that image and the height and I would like it to be uh, clickable which you can do by open true there is a lot of uh, there's a lot more um, um, settings that you can do um, more about that in the, in the documentation but for now this is enough to demonstrate you how it works so now I'm going to do it again this is another blog post there. and now I choose picture again and there you see you have the picture it opens like this uh, the default setting is that it opens in a model uh, window but if the, um, the original uh, image exceeds the, win uh, the screen uh, it will uh, open in a, a pop-up because uh, it wouldn't be very handy um, to open a model window there if it's so large. So um, if you want to, to offer this picture as download you can do that too. Uh, then you would need to install the download plugin. It would be this one. It needs to be enabled as well. And similar to the setup of the image scale plugin, you would call it like this download. And uh, as default, here it is absolutely enough to, um, to address the field name. So I'm going to add another post. post and for this, you know, we take a picture again. So here you see the picture, and here you see the download. It actually is downloading. Um, all this you can uh, you can uh, you can change, edit, leave out. Uh, there are many options in that uh, for that plugin as well, um, like uh, like adding custom CSS classes or uh, or just um, uh, make make this disappear or adding an, another button. Um, this is just a default. Uh, um, look of, of the whole thing so um, yeah that's basically it here you see that uh, that, it's, that this is just another article and um, well uh, I mean you can imagine what you could do you could create a, your own little uh, blog or you could put everything together what you think it's important or having a, a, a list of all your forms that are important to you um, well that's basically it. And um, well, I hope you had a, a good insight of how uh, of what is possible with the tagging feature of freezing forms. And um, I hope you will have fun with it. And I wish you a good day. Bye.